I'm Jay Kingley, co-founder and CEO of Maven, your host of Fractionals Unplugged. I'm joined today by Ryan Walter, a managing director with ProCFO Partners. ProCFO Partners provides expert part-time and fractional CFOs who ride co-pilot with you, looking out the windshield, ensuring you achieve your goals and strategies. ProCFO Partners started four years ago. They have over 50 CFOs who work with them. Ryan is based in the greater Philadelphia area in Pennsylvania. Welcome, Ryan. I'm Jay. Jay. Thank you so much for having me today. It's a pleasure joining you. Welcome to Fractionals Unplugged, an insider's perspective vodcast and podcast from Maven. You've left the corporate executive world to build your own business to secure your income, savor your independence, and succeed on your terms. But you have to get past the struggles of acquiring clients, building a pipeline, and getting paid what you're worth. In this podcast, Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven, and his guests share their best practices, tips, and tricks on how you can get out of Struggle City and into Success City and beyond. Enjoy today's episode. Ryan, let's say I've had a 35-year career as a finance professional. My last three years serving as the CFO for a $250 million business services company. I left corporate a year ago and I became Mm semi-retired. I still desire to work half-time though as a fractional CFO. Now I meet you at one of your business networking events that you sponsor. And I want to understand what pro CFO partners can do for me. What do you say? Well, first, I start by saying we're a collective of CFOs and individuals committed to the success of our clients, which means you're not alone. Uh, we're often calling on each other, gaining expertise, and you're working amongst a group. So if you're growth minded, we're a great place to be. Secondly, uh, we're all about delivering on a successful engagement, delivering value for clients. So if you want to have an impact, if you want to really help those small to mid-sized businesses get to what's next and lead them on that journey. That's exactly where we we come in. Third, you may not want to do a lot of business development. We help out with that as well. It's, for a number of us, that's our job. While we encourage our CFOs to get involved in the process, we're out there helping them do that. And we know not every finance person in the world loves that side of the coin. And lastly, we have a bit of IP that we've put out there to really help us create a foundational framework to support growth for an organization. And our CFOs are able to leverage that. As a marketplace, how do you place your CFOs? with? Well, carefully. Um, in fact, that's one of the key things I focus on. Uh, I'm sort of a bit of a Tinder, right? It's all about swiping left, swiping right, and figuring out the right fit. But the fit isn't about just industry. It can come down to so many things. What's the need? What's the position of the organization? I spend a lot of time thinking about that, thinking about the personality of of the owner, thinking about the needs and the position, and really working to find the right fit. But then we also give our CFOs that chance to meet with the client before that. And they're never forced to take the opportunity on. If it's not a good fit for them, we're absolutely fine passing on it. And um, and that's what we think is really important, because to make this a true long-term success, that fit has to work. So Tinder for finance professionals, maybe Ryan, you should call it Finder. And uh, I like that. Like, uh, yeah, (laughs) patent and trademark pending. There we go. All right, guys, too late for you to grab it. Ryan is a step ahead of us. So, Ryan, there's a number of marketplaces that serve fractional CFOs, and it feels like there are new ones that pop up every day. Mm -hmm. So, from your perspective, what makes pro CFO partners different from all the others? I think you're right. And, and, And there's nothing wrong with the various marketplaces, because I think if you think about the financial space, It's a wide array of things that need to be done. Our focus is really on not being consultants. We're not selling our time. We're bringing in expertise to help organizations build a sustainable and scalable finance and accounting model that works both for today and into the future to support where they're going and to build a appropriate structure to really support the growth in the future of where we're going. So I think that's kind of where I'd call our niche and where we're really focused is doing that. We're not doing controllership. We're not doing bookkeeping. We're not doing accounting. They are all incredible functions that need to be done within an organization, but we are laser focused on that area of growth and being there in the long run and being a true partner to our clients. I'm Jay, given that laser focus on the CFO, Mm -hmm. what's your perspective on the biggest challenges 
that a fractional CFO has to face today? Well, I would say in one thing, there's a little bit of the muddying of the water. To back to the previous point you mentioned, uh, we're seeing the term CFO services, which can be a challenge. And I think some individuals are facing the, do I want to try to be everything to everyone or do I get focused? And that with the increased noise is something everyone has to think about. I think the other challenge is being able to very quickly ascertain the key needs and deliver value. We have a couple days a month, in many cases, to help a client. It's not as if we're working full time anymore. So they have to be able to get in there very quickly, ascertain where the challenges are, decide your priorities and focus and execute I'm Jay. deliver value right away. Well, we believe very strongly that without focus, success becomes very problematic. So I love that uh, point of view. Now, what have you learned from your involvement in Pro CFO Partners that you didn't know when you started out with them? Well, firstly, with just the sort of benefit I've had here meeting, there are a lot more industries than I ever knew of. In fact, there's new industries, it seems, every week uh, coming out there. So you know, I guess I'm reaching that point in my career where I'm not up to date on everything and I'm, I'm finding it interesting to come across some of those new industry segments. I also find that the, the variety of experience that CFOs have and what they bring and where they've been uh, to support that is so critical. And organizations are at different stages, particularly when you're dealing with the financial structure. Is it true growth? Are they looking at an exit? Are they considering capital deeds? And so those various specialties and capabilities are critical. So just that need and variety for what a CFO needs to be. I don't want to call it a Swiss army knife because I think that generalizes it. But um, the Jay ability to bring out the right tools at the right time, I think is really critical. And, and when you start to realize what that CFO needs to be a catalyst for growth, um, that was definitely a little more eye-opening. As someone who had been in organizations for a long time, never realized the pure extent to what the CFO was doing. I'm Jay. Ryan, you're out talking to prospective clients mm -hmm. for the CFOs that are a part of Pro CFO Partners. So I'm what Jay is it that you've learned that the clients are looking for when they bring in a fractional CFO? Yeah. Well, in many cases, they want that partner. We're working in the small to mid-sized business area. If you come across those, many of those owners have worn every hat there is. In fact, they probably filled a little bit of the CFO role at one point. And they're looking for more than just someone who um, um, Jay, comes in, fills a role, and they give tasks to. Someone who can be a leader by their side and help them design that, that expertise that you need to really move forward. I think that's one thing. I think the second thing they're looking for is shrinking that timeline. Because of wearing all those hats, they may struggle with challenges for months, years before they get there. They'd really like to be able to overcome those hurdles. Um, and that's what we try to bring. You know, How do we help you? Get those first two issues out of the way in a couple months, not something you're having nightmares over for a year or two years. And I think that's, in many cases, if you boil it down, that's what they're looking for. And the final thing is, okay, things are changing. What got me here is not going to get me there. I was good at getting us here. And getting us there, I'm now a little out of my element. So how can you help me in that space? I think that's the other one, which is I'm dealing with the uncertainty, and I really need that layer of support and help. Um, just to help me move much more quickly through that domain. I always love to start with the clients mm -hmm. and work back to the fractional. So I'm going to ask you to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Given what you said, share with us the profile of a CFO that you would want on your pro CFO partners team. I think a couple of things. One, someone who's curious, um, who's interested in learning, who is interested in opening new ideas. We're not interested in someone who says, I have the answers to all the problems that I'm coming in, right? Growth mindset, because we need that in our owners. We need that in, in the folks we work with. We need that in our CFOs. We need people who are interested in working in a collaborative and engaging because that's what we are and, and that's what we bring. And I would say that layer of leadership and not only that, the layer of um, unassigned leadership to come in and take leadership um, and take that role when you do come in and not wait for it to be given. Those are really critical elements if you want to be successful, and particularly for the folks we look for. What's it cost to join Pro CFO Partners? There's no direct cost, but we do have a uh, revenue share agreement with all of our CFOs. And do I have to be exclusive and run any business that I may get outside of Pro CFOs through Pro CFO? So there's definitely a grandfather clause for anything you may have that's existing um, that we have in place in general. Um, we do look for folks so when they come in, anything new that may come in, 
um, would, would run through the organization. But we also realize there are unique situations that come up. There may be past relationships. And if any of those do come up, we deal with those on a one on one basis with each of the CFOs to work to the, you know, the right and equitable. We're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we're going to learn a bit about Ryan. You've spent the last 25 or more years working your way up the corporate ladder, achieving success and reward along the way. Whether corporate kicked you to the curb or you walked out the door of your own volition, there is no going back. You're nowhere close to retiring, so you're moving on to your second act as a fractional executive. You're feeling the thrill of freedom mixed with the dread of the unknown. You're not alone. Maven works with the elite 20%, turning the top fractional executives' aspirations into reality easily and quickly. Imagine the right clients needing your genius, chasing you to get it, and happy to pay you for the impact you make. Maven helps you build all aspects of your business to fund your lifestyle without having to work corporate hours. With Maven, market yourself easily, select your clients with purpose, and build a business that leverages your genius on your terms, not on someone else's. Reach out to Jay at j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com. Transform your expertise into a prosperous business where you'll make the impact you want with all the freedom, flexibility, and control that you've earned. Welcome back. We're talking to Ryan Walter, a managing director with ProCFO Partners. ProCFO Partners provides fractional CFOs to help clients achieve their goals and strategies. Ryan, let's find out. A bit more about you. I'm going to give you an easy one. What's your biggest professional accomplishment? You know, I would say it's kind of a macro level one. I've, I've been blessed and had the pleasure to work with a large number of people. I have a deep kind of executive operational background. And I've always enjoyed the, the part of teaming um, and how we help develop others and, and how we help really enable the rest of the organization. So my biggest honest accomplishment is looking back to see where so many of those people are now and the impact they're having now. Obviously, I played a very tiny part in that. I mean, they did most of it. Many other people were there. But to know you had a role in that and to see just that tiny little bit of influence and how it can happen to people, that's the most important thing to me. If, if there was a legacy and you want to write something uh, in my epitaph, it would be he helped people and he helped make the world a slightly better place, which sounds all grandiose. But let's just put it this way. He helped ensure people were out there contributing to the world. And honestly, I love seeing it. I love to see where those people are now, what they're doing. Ryan, I appreciate your humbleness, but now you're going to hate me. Okay. Because now I, I <laughs> got to ask the other side. I want to know what's your biggest professional failure? But more importantly than that, I want to know what did you learn from it and how did it shape what you do today? Somebody to pick from. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go back to early on in my career. Um, I think. For some of us, and I, I look back, it, it was all about getting that promotion. It was all about, oh, how do I make manager? I mean, manager, what, what, what a big deal. And I finally got that chance. And I thought that was the, that was the end all be all. So I got there and I didn't do the work. I didn't do the work as the manager. I just wanted to be in charge. And I thought it was about being in charge and having other people do things. That doesn't work out. In fact, it gets harder when you're the manager and you have to lead by example. And so I think luckily early enough on in my career, luckily very caring people who also work with me and of course corrected. The thing I learned was when you get in those positions, it's even harder. You have to put in more work. And not only that, you have to lead by example. It's the old, I'm not going to ask someone to do something that I wouldn't do myself. And that's exactly it. So it's, it's not about the title. It's not about the crown. It's about the role you play when you get into that. And that many, many, many years later is still something I go back to. And always remind myself that it's about leading by example. It's never a failure if you learn. And education is never free. Mm -hmm. And that's the way it yep. is. Okay, so what's next for you and Pro CFO Partners over the coming 12 months? Well, I mean, for me here in the greater Philadelphia region, we're continuing to expand. We are a little more than half a year in. And, and we've seen great progress so far with almost 20 clients uh, that we've, we've started off with, which has been a, you know, just a terrific start. We're continuing to see that growth. Uh, we're getting hyper-focused in certain areas um, to really accelerate that, a lot more information sharing, education, and, and just working clo more closely with key partners. Um, on a broader scale, what you mentioned, we're, we're four years into this and really about doing this differently. You know, our founders had a great concept and moved it forward. We're now sort of getting into that awkward tweeting stage, which is how do we start to scale even farther? And this is fun. 
But it, how do we go from just relying on our founders to really taking it out and building on top of that? It's going well, but we've got a lot in front of us and that will continue to develop. And we're exciting what it means for the organization, and what it means for our clients. What is the best way for those in our, our audience to reach out and contact you? Sure. Like everyone, I've probably got a hundred ways to contact me, but the best way to reach me would be at ryan.walter at procfopartners.com. Feel free to send me an email. And we'll put that along with Ryan's LinkedIn address in the show notes for both the podcast and the video. I'm Jay. Ryan, I want to thank you for being a guest on our Fractionals Unplugged show. Be sure to subscribe to both our podcast on all the major platforms and our YouTube channel for our videos. Until next time, make an impact on your clients and family on your terms, securing your independence with the freedom, flexibility, and control that you've earned.